today i am going to do a presentation on one of the most important topics as well as one of the most interesting topic also that is own your life many people blame the world or the circumstance for their troubles but the successful people own what is happening to them and try to work on them to be more uh, successful the only requirement for this to happen is that we need to alter our attitude towards success. Hi, this is Jagdish Kumar doing this presentation for you. Interestingly, we are not aware, but this is the truth. The greatest battles we fight are in the silent chambers of our own soul. We fight within ourselves, not with the greatest enemy or with the neighbor or anybody outside. Our fight always is between our mind and our conscience. Conscience that says you are doing wrong. Mind says I need to do this for this reason. Conscience again says you are wrong. This kind of a fight is happening within ourselves more than what we do in the outside world. Also please remember, between stimulus means what is happening around me and response, how I respond to that, there is a small space where I think how I should respond to what is happening to me from uh, outside. In that space lies the power to choose our response. The, what response I choose, for example, somebody is arguing with me, now argue back with me or put my point of view and say this is my point of view, afterwards it is left to you. That response is in my hand, in my degree of uh, freedom. And that response decides my growth and uh, prosperity. This you please remember. How you react to a situation is more important. If you react to the situation, what is happening around you negatively, negativity can happen to you. If you react positively, after you think enough, you have positivity and growth around you. It's always important, however the stressful the environment may be, we need to keep our mind calm. Only calm mind can think deeper. Only when you think deeper, you can get a better sustained solutions. Moving forward, you cannot change the direction of the wind. Always the sea wind is blowing towards the seashore. But by adjusting the sail, the boatman, either he goes deep into the sea or he uses the same wind to come to the shore. Similarly, you cannot uh, alter the circumstance around you. You cannot control what will happen from outside to you. But by suitably altering your response as we discussed just now, you can make any situation a winning situation for you. Always this is an important wisdom statement from great personalities. See the purpose, not the effort side alone. Don't look at the pain side alone. Without pain, there is no gain, of course. Higher the pain, also higher the gain. As we discussed earlier, if you create a purpose for yourself, then you will not see the effort as a pain. For example, I was medic, make, making medical equipments and while I was making medical equipment, only people's health was in my mind, not the salary portion. It can happen to us. Don't limit your challenges, challenge your limits. This is a great statement from Dr. APJ Abdul Kala. Don't uh, start limiting your challenges, only think that I am capable of solving smaller problems only, so let me take up smaller problems only and so on. You should say why I am taking smaller problems, can I take a slightly bigger problem, further bigger problem moving forward because success breeds success, smaller success will lead to greater success moving forward. This is a great wisdom statement, please remember and uh, adopt. The average person puts only 25% of his energy and ability into his work. This is the real truth seen globally that we put only 25% of our capability into what we are doing. If we put 100%, how effective we will be, please imagine. Please try to maximize your energy level, maximize your capability to do, contribute. That can happen only through your attitude, positive attitude. 
also one more quote from dr abdul kalam just to make the scenario lighter you see god helps only people who work hard this principle is very clear this is a, has been his a uh, great wisdom statement such a successful man who dreamt of uh, building missiles and became the father of uh, missiles for india also people talk about smart work it is not avoiding hard work or doing shortcuts shortcuts are dangerous in any professional work please remember it's a function of good planning and uh, executing the plan through hard work success in smart work is a function of good planning and uh, hard work as per the plan you are your own raw material the best investment you can do is invest on yourself invest on your ability invest on improving your competency in a time of drastic change this period is called as the period of uh, disruptive change what is permanent now is a change and change it happens very fast and during this period people who learn are only the people who can inherit the future because they are equipped with the new knowledge required to handle the new change that we see tomorrow onwards not seen today readers are leaders any great organization if you take they insist their r and d research and development engineers they are people who develop ideas should be voracious readers of uh, multiple subjects so please develop this old habit of uh, reading and that will take you to a very high level because all the ideas we have in our mind only when get churned you get the brilliant new idea not through any external reading at the point of time when we need to develop an idea this is not going to be the correct approach there are three e's to know also interestingly education have more the education we have higher will be our ability to think more wider will be our thought process more holistically we will think and come out with better decisions environment has huge influence on us unfortunately many of us grow in an environment where parents say don't do this don't do that teacher say don't do this don't do that more of don't do than do so in such an environment you should uh, come out of that shackle and start thinking positive because environment has huge influence it can um, limit your capability very much if you think i am not able to do this i won't be able to do this and uh, such negative thoughts experience has a huge impact please gain experience we learn more by failures not that we should fail for failure sake we put our 100% effort then fail we learn from them more than the successes and uh, that will mature you as a uh, leaders please remember this slogan where there is no gardener there is no garden we have to develop the ability to discipline our minds that is the meaning here gardener here is your own effort to, to discipline your mind and keep the mind calm if this is not possible mind will be loaded with the plenty of junk thoughts and these junk thoughts bring down your mental capability please read this interesting portion you sow an action you plant a seed of action you reap a habit action slowly become your habit involuntary these habits become your character your personality these character will decide your destiny where which level you are going to reach which height you are going to reach that's why it's very important to develop an excellent good habit habit if you take the english spelling also you remove h a bit remains you remove a bit remains you remove b also it remains i will not remove i because t is only an alphabet so habit once you develop which is good it will never go from you without effort you will be imbibing that to become greater successful personality please read this set your goals high stretch your target don't stop till you get uh, there nature will test you you will see frustration you will see almost a failures if you think i dar ke aage jeet hai if you keep persisting success will be yours these two 
quotes are from eminent leaders. Great works are performed not by strength but by perseverance. We covered this just now. Start with what you can what you think you can deliver, then extend it, capability you stretch, then do what is possible and suddenly you are going to do the impossible which the world would recognize, your organization would recognize and your society will recognize and uh, admire you. It's a process we need to follow this in uh, the sequence I mentioned here. Mind is a magnet, good you think you get good uh, thing back to you so mind is a magnet also please remember as leaders or as people of vision to grow high in your career or life you should dream big even if you reach 80 to 90 percent of that dream you would have achieved a greater success keep a very lofty goal lofty vision you get what you give. If you think good for others, if you do good to others, good things will rebound back to you. That is the law of nature. I keep saying to my students, life is short but life is not uh, too short. Whatever good you do, you will realize the benefit in the long term. Power of stretch target already it is uh, told in the second uh, quote about if you keep on stretching your limit, questioning your limit and stretching further and further, your capability will start going up without much effort. Now to sum up, there are 10 points. Please quickly uh, allow me to go through and uh, you also please register in your mind. Look not at success alone, look at the effort behind the success. This is what mistake we do. When a successful person, we think he is a lucky man it is not the luck it is the hard work that he has done that has brought him there let us try to understand or he is getting it without effort as a luck because he had done some great hard work he deserved something which could not be bestowed on uh, him respect others this is very important there is nobody who is useless everybody has one capability or the other we need to tap that capability and do our best to take the best out of that person who, if he is a subordinate or a team member with you for example or a family member have win-win approach whatever approach you take it should be beneficial to me as well as to the other person this should be your approach appreciate the fact that there is nothing called luck we discussed this risk management and project management capability also if you combine with the above positive attitude you will be a great successful leader you will reach very high level in your career or life also it is important to know that team management or ability to lead the team which we call as a soft skill has 60 percent weightage in your personality assessment in any great organization because your ability to lead the team will lead to so many people being uh, enhanced in their capability, in their confidence, competency and uh, so many people are now ready to benefit the organization. That is a great takeaway for the organization as well as great takeaway and satisfaction for you as a leader to develop a very performing team. Also, as leaders, you should have empathy not sympathy the difference is empathy means when the subordinate or the team member is not agreeing with you you step into his shoes mentally and then see his perspective and try to understand the context you may be able to take a better decision or you may be required to alter the decision don't hesitate to alter the decision there is no ego but don't sympathize with your team members you feel uh, uh, sympathized to the team member you start supporting him then you start slowly doing his work and he will be enjoying his life so this is what happens generally in the work area sixth point out of ten knowledge of what is smart work should be important to remember you know it is a function of good planning and then doing hard work as per the plan for greater faster easier results have proactive approach think about future not just present alone what can go wrong what can go well what can go well opportunity you maximize what can go wrong risk you minimize and uh, if you have that uh, preparedness today for tomorrow there will be ease in uh, delivering quicker and uh, higher results that will take you to greater heights eighth point is we are in a world of disruptive change so change management is very very important flexibility and adaptability is very very important characteristic for a leader 
flexibility means i should not uh, fight against the change which is inevitable there is no point in becoming a, a solo man a fish that uh, swims against the tide it's important to be flexible adapt to the change and implement the change at the fastest you will see the benefits also at the fastest compared to other people do not externalize the problems do not blame the circumstance for what problem you are facing you try to alter yourself any change you think should happen that change should start from within you put 100 percent into whatever you choose to do this is my principle also if i choose to do something or agree to do something i'll put my 100 percent otherwise i will not be doing that particular job if you do half shot work it will give only an impression to the society impression to the company that your capability is that only that much many a times i have seen youngsters make this mistake they know their capabilities within and they think they deserve much better than what they got but unfortunately the bosses or the society will judge you not from what capability you have within you but from the capability you have demonstrated so that's where you have to demonstrate your capability by 100 percent effort this is very important i request you to subscribe to this channel subscribe button is just below this video you have been watching the video but some of you are forgetting to subscribe please do not forget to subscribe to this channel also i thank you for all the great support you are extending to me